Did you ever build a complex mobile app in App Inventor 2? And you had so many blocks that you just didn't know where anything was. You couldn't find anything without looking around. And it becomes messy. The blocks editor becomes very hard to navigate. It's hard to find any blocks. It's just cluttered and messy. Well, you can do a couple of things like you can right click and collapse a block, but it's still hard. You have to do it for everything. It's kind of hard. So I'm going to show you exactly how to clean up this whole App Inventor blocks editor screen. And it's, you can do it probably within about 15 to 20 seconds. So right click anywhere in the white space. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sort blocks by category. I like to keep all of my buttons and my procedures and labels and all that stuff in one place. It's easier to know when you're looking for a button that they're all in one place. And by saying sort blocks by category, it puts them into alphabetical order. Look at this. All my BTNs, I, I label all my buttons with BTN. They're all in alphabetical order here, which is, that's right there. It's perfect. But we're not done here because it's still hard to navigate. So the first thing we're going to do is going to collapse all the blocks. Again, you're going to keep right clicking in this white area, collapse all the blocks. And now all your blocks get collapsed, and now it's easier to find. But this is still hard to navigate. I like arranging everything vertically. So I'm going to right-click again in the white area and say Arrange Blocks Vertically. And now look at this. Now it's just a big table that's so easy to find. And look at this. You have – now this one's just – it's a little hard to find things alphabetically. So it, this is the way I like it. Very clean, very professional looking. But if you want everything in alphabetical order, again, you can right click and right click and say sort blocks by category, and it puts everything into order. I think like, I don't know why it says by category because actually, I it also does the alphabetical order, which I think is great too. And you you know basically this also matches the colors too, so you know that the procedures are purple right here. Your buttons are or your button clicks are always beige, whatever this color is. You initialize your global variables, that's orange, right? So this is the way to do it. You can do this pretty much in about five to 10 seconds once you get the hang of it. So enjoy. Thanks for watching.